pay up me oats. It's Rowie here with the uh, the video I actually promised that I was going to post yesterday, but uh, I went out and got a little bit pished instead. So um, I've decided to do the video today, and with it being a Monday, I thought we'll have a little we'll have a little beer and we'll talk about things uh, things that annoy me. And um, this week um, it's uh, sour beer fans. Yes, sour beer fans. I know a lot of people think that. I do not like sour beer, that wouldn't be true. That's not true at all. On a hot summer's day, few things tickle my pickle quite as much as a delicious can of ice cold sour beer. Probably from Neon Raptor, a, a Fort Lauderdale, thank you very much indeed, which is a sour mandarin IPA. Delicious, really, really hits the spot on a hot summer's day. My problem with um, sour beer isn't even people who just go out and order a sour beer, because anyone can have a sour beer. You know, after a night on the Imperial Stouts or the double IPAs, a nice low ABV sours uh, cuts through all that like a, like a nice ray of early morning sunshine. So uh, it's not that I don't like um, sour beer. It's uh, sour beer drinkers, and in particular, a very specific type of sour beer drinker. And they're the nerdiest of the nerds. They're the people who... They, they, they've basically made sour beer an extension of their personality. So that's it. So that's all they have going for them is you can always see them as well like across, the, across the country in sort of tap rooms and in bars and, and pubs. They, they come in with like a big shitty in grin right on their face and, like, and they just come in and they, uh, they walk straight up to the bar and straight away without even looking at any board or looking at any fridges or anything like that. They just look and you go, oh. Have you got any sour beers on? And it's like, they just can't wait to tell you that. So that, that's the initial. Before you've even tried to give them a response, it's straight away, it's like, I'm just sour beer mad me. I'm sour beer obsessed. If it's sour, ooh, I'll drink that. I love sour beers. Get in the fucking sea, you absolute wet lettuce. It's... They have, oh God, every single time someone comes in. And there used to be this fella who used to come into Junkyard all the time. Like, and always, the, what, the, the most annoying thing is they're always from Birmingham for some reason. There's something about fucking Birmingham that makes them have to like sour beer. Because they're so little in Birmingham that they have to sort of go on about sour beer all the pissing time. Yeah, they, they come in, it's like, have you got any, have you got any sour beers on? Because I, I just love sour beer, me. And then as soon as you say something to them like... Um, like say, what sort of sour are you after? You like a, a pastry sour or maybe a, a kettle sour? They just look at you like you've just fed them some shit because they are thick, gormless wankers to a man. And so uh, you've instantly stumped them because this thing that they love and is their favorite thing in the world, they know Jack Dick about it. You know what I mean? It's like they just know, oh, I love, I love sour beer. I love sour beer, me. And the best thing is always as well. So basically, they're people with nothing going for them. Do you know what I mean? Like they've been kicked out of like the Pokemon clubs and the fucking Warhammer clubs for being losers. That's, that's how low these people are. They're like sour beer drinkers are below Warhammer fans. Like, so they've been kicked out of like the little nerd clubs. And so they've, they've taken up something. Oh, so, oh, beer's pretty cool at the minute. Beer's pretty cool. If I like beer, that'll make me cool. And then they say like, oh, a sour beer. Oh, that's unusual. That sounds cool quirky that sounds like everything i'm not so uh yes yeah, so they jump on that bandwagon don't they they jump on that bandwagon and um go on about how they love sour beers all the time like it's not a personality trait you know it's not like it's not like bravery you know or i don't know or like a high iq it's you just bang on about how you like beer that tastes sour that's it. Like that. That's it. That's all. That's that's what you've got going for you, is you like sour beer. Will bully for you. Christ on a bike. They make me sick. So they do. But you know, to prove that I don't mind sour beer, I'm. Uh, I've, I've this actually been in my work stash for a, uh, for weeks and weeks now. So it's it's good. It's been kept in the cellar. Otherwise, it does look like it might have exploded. This was sent to me from a friend, uh, my mate Kev, when he was in the States. And it's uh, a collaboration between Angry Chair and uh, Westbrook. I've never had anything from Angry Chair before. And uh, it's, this is 4%. And this is an Ambrosia-inspired sour wheat ale brewed with tangerine, pineapple, cherry, 
coconut, lactose, and marshmallows. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I uh, I can't wait to get this open and get it into the glass. I assume it's gonna be a very big, thick boy. You know, not as thick as people who, you know, have sour beer as their one and only thing that's going for them. So we'll give it a little roll. We'll give it a little tap. Then we'll get it into the glass and we'll have a little slurp. Yeah, because let's end on a positive. Because I don't want to, I don't want to spend the rest of my night thinking about these sour beer drinkers. So yeah, let's get this open, shall we? Get that there. Got the old neon raptor glass. Get this poured in there, shall we? Oh, look at the colour on that. Oh, crikey. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Well, that is a bit of dirty glass mafia there. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that one. There you go, a little bit there. So you can really have a gander at that. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not gonna. They're never gonna get it with both barrels, the dirty glass crew, because because uh, they're right. That is a dirty glass, and I should be called out on it. So uh, put your hashtag DGMs in the uh, in the comments. Um, so yeah, let's get this uh, sniffed and uh, the old the old sniffing slope, shall we? Uh, smells like sherbet, which is no bad thing. I do like sherbet. You can smell the coconut. I'll tell you that. Let's just get it drunk. And this is like this is now actually. This is the bit, word, the part that annoys me the most about the. Do you have any sour beers on? Sort of people. It's like once you pour in them, because they don't want a real sour beer. They don't want a Duchess de Burgoyne, or they don't want a nicely a nice well made kettle sour. What they want is something that they want a lemon tart in a glass. That's all they want. They they only want. So if you give them like a real sour. This this is this is what they look like. It's like oh I love sour beer, mate. I love sour beer. Oh, there's there's something about sour beer. I just love. That was me doing an impression of them, by the way. That's that's fucking delicious. That they they pull that face like fucking Englishman pull on St Patrick's Day when they're having their first Guinness in a year and they're pretending to like like choking it down. Yeah. So um. If you are one of those people who uh, just bang on about sour beer all the time, and uh, I love sour beer, oh, I just can't get enough sour beers. Uh, are you, are you any, any more sour beers? Are there any other really good sour beer breweries? Uh, shut up. Shut up. No one cares. No one likes you, and no one ever will. So stop going on about a beer is your personality. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to sit here and drink my sour beer now. Tastes like pop. Yeah, it's nice that. Yeah, well, yeah, I've seen a bit. Yeah, well, sour beer. Oh yeah, before I go. Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, give me a like and a subscribe. If there's anything in the world of beer that you think is dumb and you would like my <clears throat> opinions on them, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's try and hit the 500, I wanted to hit 500 subscribers by the end of March, but there's only 10 days, I don't think we're gonna do that. So uh, if you are watching and uh, you haven't subscribed, hit that um, subscribe button down there. That's in order. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. See you later. Yeah. In a bit.